China's agricultural industry has been booming for the last few years, and to date, its agrarian machinery market is also at its peak. Actually, these modernized and technologically advanced are the key drivers for the development of the agriculture industry in China. These agricultural machinery has touched on the international markets, and today, the exports for these advanced machinery have increased amazingly. If the demand for these machines is huge, it's pretty obvious that these machines have shown wonders in the Chinese agriculture sector, be it automated machines for managing the entire farmland, teeny weeny drones, combined harvesters, or trained robots, all these contemporary machines have revolutionized the agriculture sector, especially in China. And with such advanced development, the entire world is awestruck. What are these modern technological agriculture machinery? Which provinces of China have opted for these machineries? What is the farming condition of China as of now? So let's buckle up to find some fascinating facts about China's developing agriculture sector. China ranks first in the list production of cereals, cotton, fruits, vegetables, meat, poultry, eggs, and fish. During the last couple of five-year plans, China's core focus was on developing the agriculture sector. All robust agricultural developments in China have enabled large-scale farming over smaller farm systems. This overall development is the reason why China is leading in the agriculture sector and how the government and scientists together have facilitated significant growth. AI-driven farming technology, automated heavy machinery, and big data-driven pesticide treatment plants are some of the things one can spot in the revolutionizing agriculture sector. Now, these scientific techniques, drones, and specialized robots are used to maintain the entire farmland. The tedious process, which was earlier done by workers, is now entirely managed by automated systems. With this integration in the agricultural sector, the problem of labor shortage was also solved, and our agricultural yield produced is also massive because of the new scientific techniques. Today, China is trying its hands on AI-driven farming technology, automated heavy machinery, and big data-driven pesticide treatment plants. Let's look at how drones are helping the development of the agriculture sector. One such revolutionary and sustainable DJI mg one drone was spotted in China's Hainan Island, which now efficiently and solely can handle the entire farmland. Most of the farmers these days in China have tapped and grabbed this excellent opportunity of utilizing specially mechanized drones for agriculture. It is a perfect blend of effectiveness, intuitiveness, safe and most prominently easy to use. Not only will it monitor the growth of the crops, but also suggest some scientific approaches for better quality crops and might even predict the exact period for harvesting. To a surprise, these UAVs can be helpful to farmers for sowing seeds and spreading adequate manure for crop production. While monitoring the farmland and taking care of it using light spectrum technology, these drones can spray pesticides and fertilizers evenly in their required area. Also, if already settings are done, then these drones will complete the entire task in one go through GPS-defined routes. And the best part about these drones is they can be controlled through a small device from long distances and the reminder triggers when the drone is out of pesticides and it needs a refill. One of the farmers shared his experience and said how his 1.5 months of tedious work is now done within a couple of days. So be it time, energy, costs, and pesticides, everything is saved if more and more farmers switch to drones. Another excellent advancement in agriculture machine technology is the robots. It's not only until sowing and harvesting that these modernized equipment are also used to gather information on environmental factors, soil fertility, and crop growth when in different stages. This AI-powered equipment can also assist in guiding agricultural field management, and the results are super. The next advancement in the technology is the tractors that were previously operated by humans can now be updated to automated unmanned tractors by installing the autopilot system in it. By doing so, the quality and speed of its operations change amazingly. The next booming area they concentrated on was to develop or import the best quality harvesters or combined harvesters, which could be a phenomenal addition to their robust agricultural industry. Previously, this harvesting job was workloaded and tense for farmers as it needs to be accurate and completed within a period. However, this tedious job is now taken over by integrated machinery and it's pretty reasonable for every farmer to opt for such machinery as these significant investments can do wonders economically and also yield-wise. These multitasking harvesters are named combined harvesters which can perform tasks like harvesting, threshing, winnowing, and gathering. Such combined harvesters are used for wheat, rice, oats, barley, corn, maize, flax seeds, and many other crops as well. 
China is also equipped with the excellent potato harvester, which harvests the most consumed vegetable from the farms with ease, following a systematic format. They have a series of machinery that are used to navigate potatoes from one part to another. The better the harvester mechanism, it will be beneficial for companies as well as for the farmers. To keep a track of proper fruit harvesting, there are specially designed harvesters like orange harvesters, strawberry pickers, and much such equipment. All this was about the modernized technological agriculture equipment owned by China. Now let's go and see which are the major crops cultivated in China. China's unique ability to grow light pink or white strawberries. This variety of strawberries is widely termed Fendai in China and has an excellent demand in the Chinese market because of their attractive color and heart-shaped appearance. However, all over China, there's only one grower located in Dandong for these highly buzzed Fendai strawberries. There are about 18 greenhouses in Dandong which grow these pinkish white strawberries, and the best part is these are sold at pretty good rates in the market. The next fruit which is highly demanded and produced in China is watermelon. Watermelon is the largest produced and consumed fruit in China. This juicy and sweet fruit suits the citizens of China and most importantly, their pockets as well. From the past reports, it was found that from the total available plantation lands, about 2 million hectares of land are denoted for planting watermelons. Once the watermelons undergo the harvesting process, the entire slot from the farm is transported to the nearby factories. In the factories, these watermelons are sent through different types of machinery for the cleaning process. And finally, once they are cleaned thoroughly with water and dried, they are packed according to the requirements of the clients. When it comes to harvesting cucumbers, farmers need to be a bit extra careful when choosing the quality of soil, irrigation technique, and method of cultivation. China is way ahead when it comes to using high-end technological machinery for the agriculture process. It's so exciting to watch the entire process from the sowing to the packaging of the final result or transferring it to the clients. The next highly produced and consumed vegetable in some parts of China is potatoes. Those bunched citizens who are part of the temperate zones, their staple food is precisely potatoes. The process is pretty easy and sorted when it's compared to other vegetables and fruits. But it's not that farmers can be carefree while cultivating potatoes as there are some factors which need to be closely looked at. Some of them are proper irrigation facilities, so the amount of water is not less nor too much. However, all these techniques, machinery, and advancements in the agriculture sector were precisely for outdoor farming and especially for crops. Have you heard about fish farms? If not, then you're missing out on the largest income-producing sector of China. One another example of the modernized fish farm technique is the world's giant floating fish farm which is capable of producing a whopping 3,700 tons of fish every year. This massive amount of fish is similar to the ship produced in Chagan, which is one of the country's largest freshwater lakes. The aquaculture cycles in this fish farming are quite shorter than the traditional techniques. And because of this modernized update floating, fish farms can produce 3 to 5 times more fish in the same pace. When coming to the technology part of this fish farm, there is a constant supply of seawater in the cabins, so the environment is stable and appropriate for cultivating fish as well. From the highly buzzed inland aquaculture, the most common inland aquaculture is pond culture. This pond culture in China covers seven prominent provinces, namely Anhui, Guangdong, Hubei, Hunan, Jiangsu, Jiangxi, and Shandong. This method is highly beneficial to rural areas as it helps eradicate poverty and improve the citizens' lifestyles. The government is also supporting the aquaculture in China, and anyway, it's a better choice as it helps to bring in the seafood even when the places where the seashores are far away. So wrapping up today's video, China is excelling in the agriculture sector at an insane pace, and this has shocked the entire world. Especially, its super-duper technology is helping China to develop in the agriculture sector. So what are your thoughts on the modernizing agriculture industry of China? Do let us know your views in the comments below. And if you enjoyed watching how China is opting for new agriculture machines, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. See you in the next video.